All right, we're out in the field and we're ready to launch our drone. So first thing we do is we make sure our ground station's plugged in, uh, powering on, you know, you'll hear a little hum and you got it set on top of your vehicle or something like that. And then we can go ahead and pick up our drone and find a nice place to launch. So we're gonna be looking for places, you know, without any trees over them and a nice flat spot with uh, short grass is ideal. So we'll go ahead and pick up our drone and carry it on out. So go ahead and plug our drone in. And now we're ready to come back to our stuff over here. So we can use our mobile device, laptop, tablet, whatever your choice is. And we can go ahead and connect to our vehicle. So we're connected to the drone and ready to go. We'll come over here to our plan and we'll re-download it. Uh, or we'll upload it, then download it. You'll see the green slider bar going across the top, just like we showed you in the mission planning video. And as a final step, we're going to run over to our dashboard and make sure everything in the drone is working well. Now I have a shortcut set up on my device where it just opens up my internet browser and goes straight to the IP address of 192.168.1.30. This is something I highly recommend just because it makes it easier and more streamlined. So we can go take a look. We'll see that our flight status is idle and our IMU says cold. We have enough satellites and our mission was created on launch. So we want to make sure that IMU is heated up and ready to go. So we'll give it a second while we look through, you know, our flight system. You'll see this drone has like 56 hours on it, which is pretty high. We have available storage here. On our USB, we have 191 gigabytes available and our internal SD card has 59 gigabytes available. You wanna make sure that you got plenty of storage on here so that your data gets recorded and nothing gets overwritten. And then we'll make sure that our LiDAR on the very bottom here says it's running. So now we'll check our mission status. Everything says it's ready to go. So we'll shoot back over to Q Ground Control and get this show on the road. Alrighty, so now we've got our mission plan and we've checked through our dashboard to make sure our pre-flight items are good. We come down here and turn our uh, remote on. This is the last thing we do before we're ready to launch. And we'll clear through a couple little warnings here. They're just telling you, uh, you know, some things are set up on the controller differently than it's used to, but that's just because of how we use it with our platform here. And then we're ready to slide our slider. Now you're gonna wanna make sure somebody is in possession of the controller to take control. You know, you can put it down into loiter mode and take control of it if you need to, like if something happens, like a truck pulls up or something like that. So we'll slide our slider and start our mission. Now you can see we had a nice safe launch. It's doing everything right on its own. And it'll go up to our 50 meters and then proceed with our mission. One thing to verify is that it is going to 50 meters. You know, we'll see we got 40 right now. And we're coming up on 50 meters. You can see that in the top right corner of your Q ground control. And now you can see we're headed on our way. So that's how you launch your aircraft.